नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस माय नेम इज़ प्राणेश इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द एस आर एफ टेस्ट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ सीरीज ऑफ फिफ्टीन वीडियोज वेर इन वी विल बी सॉल्विंग वन एम सी क्यू पर वीडियो लेट्स बिगिन विद क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स दैट इज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फिजिक्स लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट A particle of mass m is rotating in a circular orbit of radius r under the action of gravity in the presence of another stationary particle of very large mass upper case m. Consider that the gravitational potential energy is zero at infinite separation. If the total energy of the rotating particle is e, then which of the following expressions correctly represents the angular momentum of the particle? And we are given. Uh, four options observe that in all four options the radius of the orbit is outside the root and inside the root we have the energy e of the particle and its mass m okay so we are going to make use of this fact uh, later in our solution but let's begin by first writing down the expression for the total energy of the rotating particle okay so let's start that is e the total energy of the particle will be addition of its kinetic energy and its potential energy kinetic energy because it is moving and uh, potential energy because uh, it forms a system rather it is in the presence of gravitational field of the uh, other stationary particle correct gravitational potential energy all of us know kinetic energy is half mv square now whenever we are estimating or uh, computing potential energy we always assign a reference where the potential energy is zero and all other values are measured with reference to that and in the problem they have given us that the gravitational potential energy is zero at infinite separation and therefore when it is uh, the when the particle is at a distance r small r from the a uh, very large mass then how can we calculate or write the gravitational potential energy it will be negative negative g m m upon r you will find the derivation of this formula in any standard textbook uh, on the chapter gravitation correct acha so this is the total energy but the problem is uh, it contains uh, the mass of the larger object okay right capital m on this side and on the second term but in the first term it doesn't have any of that sort so uh, we now are going to introduce the fact that the centripetal force in this case is provided by the gravitational force correct so centripetal force because after all why is it rotating because of centripetal force right centripetal force is the gravitational force okay and i'm only going to consider the magnitude this time so mv squared by r centripetal force is equal to g m m upon r square correct standard formula newton's law of gravitation now don't cancel the terms okay you may be tempted to cancel r r and m m but uh, we are now trying to find out a replacement for this kinetic energy okay so we can do it okay we can cancel r let's first cancel r okay so we will have m v square equal to uh, g m m divided by r but we want half m v squared isn't it so let us divide this by half so that two will come here and therefore the kinetic energy or the total energy will be g m m by 2 r plus negative g m m upon r okay now uh, let us take g m m upon r common G M M upon R common, and inside the bracket we will have one upon two minus one or negative one upon two, and that gives us the total energy as. Okay, let's write it here. Total energy negative G capital M small M upon two R. Now the negative sign indicates that the particle is bound. Okay, is bounded. Okay, it is not going to uh, lose its trajectory anytime. Okay. it is a sign of boundedness even in the bohr model of the atom hydrogen atom or hydrogen like atoms uh, the potential the total energy is negative okay so that represents the 
condition that it is bounded okay but uh, our job doesn't end there we have uh, we have so far just calculated the energy e in terms of the available uh, parameters mm and r <coughs> but we uh, we want the angular momentum angular momentum of the particle okay so what is angular momentum l uh, in magnitude mvr okay <coughs> the angular momentum is mvr now uh, the first thing that we notice here is because of this negative sign the total energy is negative okay uh, total energy is negative of the particle okay total energy is negative now what does that signify that means negative of e must be positive correct now if that is the case then it makes more sense so okay so let's say we we wish to pick the correct option here okay and as i not, uh, told you at the beginning of the problem <coughs> although the terms are r outside e and m inside the root because we know that e is negative we cannot just have root of em okay otherwise it will it would mean that the angular momentum will be an imaginary number <coughs> okay which is definitely not going to be the case so it's it's going to be r into root of negative of e into m because mass cannot be negative so negative of e is positive correct so we can directly skip or rule out options a and d why that the reason is total energy is negative considering the reference okay gravitational potential energy is zero at infinite separation and therefore it is either b or c okay it is either b or c okay it is either b or c okay it is either b or c <coughs> which means <coughs> we can actually simplify our task of just determining the constant which in the option b is root 2 and in the option c it is 1 over root 2 okay so let us assume that angular momentum l is actually k times okay k times r into r into root of negative em now if that constant k turns out to be root 2 then it will be option b if that constant k turns out to be 1 upon root 2 that will be option c okay so l is mvr which is equal to k into r into negative uh, root of negative em okay let us square squaring uh, so we will get m squared v squared r squared equal to k squared r squared into negative em isn't it on squaring the negative sign will uh, the root sign will go okay now you need to put this here okay rather negative of e so uh, what will we have m squared v squared r squared will be k squared r squared into now the negative sign need not be written here okay so uh, g mm upon 2r let's not forget this additional m so it will be m squared okay m squared now what uh, well we can uh, cancel m squared right we can cancel this m squared we can cancel r squared we can cancel r squared so we are finally left with uh, v squared on this side equal to k squared g m upon 2 okay now <coughs> uh, how are we going to uh, simplify this further we can do it by going back to the expression for kinetic energy okay we can do that by going back to the expression for kinetic energy okay half m squared is equal to g m upon 2 half m squared is equal to gm upon 2r so what is v squared okay from this expression can we get v squared of course we can get v squared uh, v squared will be g mm upon 2r into 2 by small m okay into 2 by small m so we have just taken this small m by 2 on the other side 2 2 goes mm goes so what is v squared actually equal to v squared is actually equal to g m divided by r g m divided by r those are the only three terms that are remaining what does that mean if we are obtaining or we are getting two expressions for v squared one is k squared j m upon 2 r and the second one is simply j m upon r it means we must have 
k squared by 2 equal to 1 or k squared equal to 2 or k to be uh, root 2. We can't have the greater value here, right? Because there is no such option. So k is root 2. Now, which one of the options is right? k is not 1 upon root 2. k sits in the numerator. k squared is equal to 2 because k squared and 2 must cancel each other. Only then v squared will be equal to gm upon r. So k squared is equal to 2. k has to be equal to root 2. That means the correct option is b. The correct option is b. Okay. All right. So we have cleverly made use of the options and the fact that the total energy is negative to eliminate a and d and from to pick the option from b and c we just assumed that the angular momentum had an expression of the kind some constant into r into uh, neg root of negative of uh, total energy into mass of the particle okay and that constant has turned out to be root 2. that's 46th in our next video we will solve question number 47